Welcome back to the channel. Touching down from Chiang Mai City, as always. I was living my life down in England, dreaming of Thailand all the time. You're always looking for, for a partner and love. You always need somebody, I think. Even though I've always been, always been happier on my own. I was down in Devon, going to work every day, thinking of coming back here. A lady that I once liked became available. We met again after so many years. We worked before, we worked together before, but she moved away. And we got back in touch through the power of social media. We both liked each other before, but we was both in separate relationships. Well, she was, I wasn't. I was just a Jack the Lad. I found her on Facebook and we got talking as you do. We started dating a lot. She lived in the next county, which was not far from me. I live in Devon and she was in Somerset. So it was an hour, hour and a half journey all the time, which is nothing really. This is what I thought would take my mind away from Thailand. I thought, find a good woman. This is the girl for me and I'll forget all about Thailand and I can just get on with my life in a nice relationship with some kids and get Thailand right out of my system. I ended up moving to Somerset with her and she already had two kids. I found a job in Somerset, so I quit my job in Devon. This is just before I got here, guys. This is the, the year previous to when I came to Thailand this time. Settled down with the family life. Don't worry about Thailand. You've done that already. You've been there and done that. You don't, you don't need to keep thinking of that. And even in the future, I could come here. We even talked, me and my ex-partner, we talked about this as well. We talked about later on in life, we could both come here when, when the children have grown up a bit and they've left school. Life was good, I was settling into my new job. And yeah, the thoughts of Thailand slowly come back, guys. That, that lure of Thailand and not being happy in my new job. I was struggling with it, I hated it. I gave it some time, like you do. Whenever you try something new, normally you don't like it at first, right? And you give it some time. So I gave it some time, six months. I just kept dreaming of Thailand and being in Thailand. She could realize that as well, I think. And it was causing a bit of, causing a bit of trouble. That was probably the only time I have been in love in my life. Yeah, I was trapped. I, I didn't know what to say. I wanted to come to Thailand and I didn't want to lose her. When you're like that, your mind's just mixed up in it you don't know what to do. Then after six months, I walked out on my job. I walked out on my new job. I just didn't want to go anymore. I was unemployed again for a little bit. And then I found another job, which was a lot better. This job was, I was quite happy in this job actually, for the small amount of time I was there. I still wasn't happy guys. I, it's not what I wanted to do. I, I, I didn't want to be living that life. I wanted to be here. I probably am stupid. I had a beautiful girl. I had a ready-made family. I said I'm going back to Devon for a bit. I, I refused to end it. I thought I was just going to go home for a bit and get my head together and come back again. But it never works like that, does it? Deep down, I knew I was never coming back. But I tried my hardest to say that I'm just going home for a break and yeah, that's not nice for a woman, is it? Saying you're leaving when you've just started a relationship. And I was still thinking that I'm going to go back to her. But at the same time, deep down, I knew I wasn't. But I just didn't want to let go. Yeah, then it got to the point where she knew it. She knew what I wanted and she knew she had to let me go. She had to let me be free. And she said, just don't come back. I knew I wanted to come to Thailand, but just the thought of not having her anymore and somebody else having her. I couldn't digest that. Yeah, it took me a while to get over that, guys. My ex-partner knew that was the right decision and looking back now, it was the right decision. I'm a lot more happier. That's not to say I didn't love her, but things in life don't turn out how you want them to sometimes, right? Okay, we both wanted to be with each other, but we both wanted different things. Yeah, as soon as that happened, I booked the flights to come here. Within, within a couple months, I was here. So I was still sort of grieving when I was on the plane over here. I was still, you know, suffering from a breakup. I was not happy. I was happy to be coming to Thailand again because that's, that's what I always wanted. 
Well, that was still in the back of my mind that I just broke up with a girl that I really liked and I could have had a proper future and a proper proper family. But I've realised that's not for me. It's just not for me. It never has been. I'm just a, a wanderer, so to say, or a free spirit. Would I like to be back in that situation in the future? There maybe comes a time where this is not what I want to do be in Thailand or maybe I will settle down with a Thai woman I, I don't know I really don't know but at this time I know this is where I want to be and this is what I want to do people tell you you're stupid people tell you what you're doing giving up a lovely woman you know you get that from all your family and your friends they didn't know what the hell I was doing they're like what the hell is going through his mind he's been to Thailand he's been traveling when he's younger you're in your 40s now what the hell are you thinking about but at the end of the day it's only you that can make that decision where your life goes right i made the right decision i'm happy now looking back i should have i should have told her right away i should have done it right away i shouldn't have hung around but it's like the elvis presley song in it i'm caught in a trap i can't walk out so it's hard when you're in a relationship you you don't know what to do i wanted both I wanted my partner and I wanted Thailand but sometimes you can't have both can you you can have both things in your life you can only choose one just a little insight into how Thailand broke up my relationship I thought about it long and hard thinking did Thailand break up my relationship and it did me wanting to go traveling here this was the only place I wanted to come so it did break my relationship up. If it wasn't for Thailand, I would still be in Somerset now. Was it hard? Somebody else's children. Yeah, it was hard for me. I respect any man that can take on somebody else's children. That's a real man. I don't mind children at all. I like children and one regret will be, if I never have any, is that there's no mini me's in the world. Um, I'm running out of time. <laughs> um, I've come to the conclusion that I probably won't have any kids now. How old was Charlie Chaplin when he had children? He was in his 80s or something. But if I've still got lead in my pencil when I'm in my 80s, I will be a happy guy. Walking around the Rama Park at the minute. Beautiful here, isn't it? It's always so quiet in Lana Rama Park. This is the absolute perfect space for anybody wanting a quiet walk in Chiang Mai. Come to Lana Rama Park. I will leave this place in the description again for anybody that wants a little getaway or a good walk around. They got good grounds here, it's a massive place. I've done a few vlogs in here. And this is my number one spot now whenever I need a quiet area to have a think or to do a vlog like this. Yeah, you know my channel, I like to keep it real. That's why I wanna mix the, the deeper stuff with the happy stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna mix it up. There's not gonna be too many of these vlogs. Thailand can be a wrecker. You don't have to be in Thailand for it to play havoc with your life. You can be in another country and that lure of Thailand. The only thing I wish I could have done different was not hurt the children. Just saying bye to the children and you know you've come into their life and they never see you again. It's, it's never nice, is it? I, I, I had that when I was a child as well. Where my, where my dad left. And it's never nice. I think that was the thing that hurt me the most when, when I had to say bye to the children. I'm not gonna say I was the perfect stepdaddy because I was away with the fairies. I was rubbish. I, my mind was always on Thailand, but it, the day when I had to say goodbye, you know, I was, it did bring a tear to my eye. We've all been through battle scars of life, right? I've got a few more stories like this as well that I will be telling over time and we can have a chat and a discussion and, and really get deep and really get real about, about life and about this channel, right? Yeah, hope you're all safe and sound as always. Um, it's a real hot one today in Chiang Mai. I'm going to stop waffling and get on for me nice cup of coffee. So I will see you in the next one, guys. So take it easy, man. Take it easy. Well, don't you know I'm caught in a trap? I can't walk out. 
because I love you too much, baby.